everyone, it's Charlene. I'm gonna be using the Under the Sea Clear Stamp Set as well as the Waves Background Stamp. And then lastly, I'm gonna be using the Build a Window Number no. 9 Die Set. Now this is a great set and you're gonna see why it's so versatile. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the PhotoPlay card bases for a slimline card and I'm gonna do some ink blending. I'm coming in with a couple of different shades of Distress Oxide and I'm using my blending brush and I'm going to do a repeating pattern in three. This is gonna make more sense as we get farther on into the card. But these are some really pretty colors for making an ocean scene. So I'm starting with some prize ribbon and then I'm going to go into Mermaid Lagoon and then I'm gonna use tumbled glass. And you see I'm doing this in threes. When you're working on cards, oftentimes things in sets of three work really well. Once I have the prize ribbon down, I'm gonna come in with the Mermaid Lagoon just on top of the prize ribbon and blend it in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the tumbled glass. Bring that in on top of the Mermaid Lagoon. I like to go back once I've done that and go over it a couple of times to help the colors blend into each other. These are such pretty colors. I love all the different shades of blue. And if you're going for more of a tropical style of sea, you're gonna to wanna to use kind of some teal colors or something like that. But I wanted to go more for the kind of standard ocean blue that you would have. We're gonna be doing some fun techniques today with heat embossing on top of the oxide inks. So you can see I'm using the same brush here for each of the three colors. I'm just wiping off my brush as I go through and add each color. That's all you need to do. You don't have to have separate brushes or separate blending tools for these colors. You can just easily wipe off your brush and use it for all of your shades of blue. Then once your brush gets saturated with ink, you might wanna go back in and clean it with some soapy water or something like that. Okay, you can see there now I have a couple of layers of Distress Oxide on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that card base aside to make sure that those Distress Oxides have time to thoroughly dry. Now I'm stamping out the entirety of the Under the Sea stamp set without the sentiments because at this point I wasn't sure exactly which ones of those cute little critters I wanted to use on my card. I did go ahead and color all of the cute little sea critters with some alcohol ink markers. Most of these, because they're smaller, I'm just going in with two different colors, a light and a medium darkish color. And I'm using that darker tone for shading. There's so many fun little critters in this set and you could use these guys for all kinds of different styles of cards. The nice thing about coloring in the entire set is that then you can set aside any little critters you don't use on your card and you can use them for another card. You can do lots of other things too. You could also use watercolors, you could use colored pencils. And something I like to do once I have used alcohol ink markers to color in my critters is to go back and re-stamp all of my images. So I will actually leave my stamps in my Misty and then come back once all is said and done and just add another layer of ink. The other thing that you could do is you could stamp and then heat emboss. That looks really nice as well. I find that adding that second stamping once everything is colored really helps to make your images pop. Now here you can see I am using all of the cute little coordinating dies that go with the set. And this is so nice to have them. There's even a little die that goes for the little air bubbles. I love that so much because you get a lot of versatility with your set when you're able to go ahead and cut out all of the critters. Now that my panel's dry, I'm gonna come in and I am going to do some heat embossing on my card base. So you can see I have the clear wave stamp affixed to my Misty door and I have just closed it so I can see where I want to put the Versamark ink and I have gone ahead and put some post-it tape there just so I can see where it needs to go so I don't get it all over my card. And now I'm going ahead and putting that embossing ink down and I'm gonna close up my Misty. You can see because I had that little piece of tape there, I could see exactly where I needed to put that ink. 
Now I'm gonna come in with some white embossing powder and I'm going to do some heat embossing. And this is gonna create a really fun look for the waves on top of that Distress Oxide. You can see already just how adding that stamp with the waves on there really makes this look like an ocean. I love it so much, it's so pretty. And this background stamp is really versatile. You can use it for pretty much any kind of card where you're trying to create an ocean scene or even a lake scene, anything that has water. It's really, really pretty. And I also could see you using it for some type of abstract kind of like card where you're just wanting to make a really pretty multicolor background. You could stamp it and then color each of the little wave parts in a different color, just all kinds of stuff. So now I have cleaned off my stamp without taking it out of the misty, and I'm gonna go ahead and again put the door down just so I can see where I need to put some more of the embossing ink. And so I'm gonna tape exactly where I need to stop. That way I'm not getting embossing ink all over the rest of my card. So you can see I've created that little area right there where I know I need to go ahead and stamp some more embossing ink. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do that. Once you have that down, you can use a pressure tool if you have one. I like to use a pressure tool just so I can make sure I can get a nice even pressure and make sure that all that embossing ink gets down there. Now the nice thing about this style of card where you're doing waves like this is if you do miss a little spot, like you can see right there, I missed a little spot, it's not gonna be very noticeable because the waves just have such a pretty pattern to them that it's really, you're, you're not even gonna pay any attention to that. Also, it creates a perfect little spot to put a little sea creature or whatever kind of stamp you have if you need to cover up any kind of little oopsie like that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna be using the Build a Window die set. And you can see this set is so versatile. For this card, I'm just gonna be using the circle and then the large frame. Now this large frame is going to cut out the paper so that it sits just a little bit smaller around the edges on the card than the card base. So you'll get a nice little border, which I really, really like. Now I'm gonna tape this down and I'm actually gonna go ahead and start by putting the included circle die in the center. And I'm just using a ruler to make sure I have the center one centered. And this is important because it's a lot easier to do the one in the middle. And then you can see I've gone back in and I have cut out one on the top and bottom. So now you can see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna come in with some foam squares and I'm gonna go ahead and puff up this card panel over that beautiful ocean scene. So this is gonna create some interest on my card. It's gonna help me to create a scene on the front of my card, because you're gonna have those three areas where the eye is gonna be drawn, where you're gonna see through there, you're gonna see that little ocean background. And this is one of those added steps to a card that really adds a lot of interest. Now certainly you could glue this directly down to the card base if you don't wanna have so much dimension, but I find that having some part of the card panel popped up always just adds a little bit of interest to the card. And I'm not planning on popping up any of my little sea critters, so I think popping up the panel really adds a lot here. There are also squares and rectangles and hearts and little scallop circles, all kinds of different shapes with this die set. So you can build all kinds of different scenes with this die set. I love that so much. So now I have stamped a cute sentiment from the stamp set. It says, just keep swimming. I like that sentiment because it can be sent for an encouragement card and who doesn't need a little bit of encouragement now and then. I have decided where to put all of my little sea critters and I've adhered them to my card. And now I'm coming in with my sentiment and I'm gonna pop that up just because I'm gonna have a little bit on the card base and a little bit on the top panel. So I need to make sure that it doesn't get smushed. So I added some foam strips on the back right hand side so that way it is popped up. I love this set because you get the little sea plants, you get the kelp, you get the starfish, you get the crab, you get all of these little critters. I love it all so much. 
All right, guys, well, here is my finished card. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some inspiration and that you'll get some time to craft today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos. Until next time, happy crafting.